Hey Eddie from the Back Cave here. How's everybody doing this week? I'm gonna show you my pulls from this week and last week. And also I got a mail call. Hope everyone survived the Isaiah um, storm, tropical storm that went through here. Uh, we had some trees down, power outages, and even this morning we had a main water break. But we're surviving, that's what we do around here. That's what what's make us strong. And also I wanna do a shout out to, oh my God, Ken Nielsen. Ken, thank you for checking up on me, buddy. I appreciate it a lot. You're the man. All right. Going forward, Symbiote Spider-Man Alien Reality number five. There we go, Greg Land cover. Uh, the story was okay. I felt like it was rushing it because it was the last issue. There we go. That concludes that storyline. I think there's going to be another series coming out. Book that I enjoyed a lot was The Amazing Spider-Man number 45. The Sin Eater is back. It's called Sin Rising Part 1. And I want to say Mark Bagley is, to me, the, the definitive artist for Spider-Man. That and John Romita Sr. There we go. Story was great. I enjoyed the story. And the reason why I picked it up was because I remember growing back where, um, with Gene DeWolf, where he was involved in all that, and it was a good storyline even then. So, that one. So, if you see this, pick it up. It's in Rising Part 1. Batman and Superman, number 10. The storyline continues with the Ultra Humanite. I also read this. The story was okay. Artwork was, yeah, I wasn't too crazy about it. I think after this storyline is done, I'm done with it. Here we go. New from Image. Firepower number one. This was a fun read. I'm telling you, I was reading this and I ended up getting number two that came with it. It involves a guy named Owen Johnson. Uh, there's a prelude to this, which I'm going to hunt down. I went to a temple to find out the mysterious, find out about his parents and stuff like that. He ended up to have these powers and so forth. So, But other than that, he's a family man. He's married to uh, this police officer. He has three kids, and he also sells furniture. But good story, guys. If you see this, don't pass it up. I enjoyed the book uh, um, a lot. It was different, but kind of the same. You know what I'm saying? It, it had like a family value to it. But other than that, really good story. I can't wait to read number three. So this is Firepower number one from Image. Firepower number two. He's protecting his family there. The guy can fight action all the way on this one. This one was pretty good. I saw, I can't say good stuff enough about it, but very good. There we go. Free comic book day, The Invincible. That's what I was given to me. I think it's going to be a TV series. Also, the writer is Robert Kirkman and Chris Semi. Just to let you know who did that. From Marvel Comics, Fantastic Four, number 22, The Empire. There we go. Continues from last month. Captain America, number 21. Uh, what's the All Die Young, part 2. Storyline continue. I don't want to say that's what it is. Beautiful artwork. Alex Ross there. Look at that, huh? White House there. Awesome artwork. DC's Dead Planet number two. Got the variant. I'm enjoying this storyline. I didn't read it yet. Uh, part one was awesome. All right. Joker War part two. Batman number 96. There we go. I didn't see the variant cover at the store. Batman the Adventure continues number three. I didn't get number two, so we're still hunting that one down. There we go. All right. Mail call. Finally, I got to finish reading Deceased Unkillable number three. Look at that. I know you guys already read it, but it took me this long to finally read it because my stuff came in two days ago. Good, good story. It was like, wow, at the end. So um, I really enjoyed it a lot. I hope you guys did too. I'm enjoying the series that they're doing. So I know they're going to be doing another one after um, the Dead Planet series is done. Also from Mail Call, and this is from Legends Cards and Comics, guys. Wolverine number one, variant from Alex Ross cover. Look at that. Again, this is from what order from way, way back, and I finally got it in. There you go. Mark's Brook variant, and I like Mark Brooks. Uh, X-Men, Uncanny X-Men number one. Here we have Psylocke, Jean Grey, and Rogue. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, Catwoman 80th Anniversary. I know these already came out, but I just finally got it in. From Gabriel Atoto. The Joker 80th Anniversary. 
All right, I think I already have this copy. I don't know what happened there with a mix-up. All right, in a book that, that was on sale that I wanted, it was Superman, a celebration of 75 years. I got this on a sale price from them. There we go, can't wait. Probably like half the stories I already read when I was young. And it goes with my collection over here. I don't know if you can see it, but that's where it goes. All right, so I can't wait to get jump into that. So, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, I hope you uh, have a good week. If there's anything you wanna talk about, let me know, give me a holler. As always, from the Batcave, this is Eddie Nieves. See ya.